If I was Edward Cohen, this is Bella Swan. Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. I don't even know what day it is. I mentioned in my last video, I think, that I have gotten back into a healthy routine. I know. I actually have found a gym that I really love here in Nashville and me and Samantha have been going together and it's been honestly a really good time. I forgot the endorphins and like the happiness. What is it? Oxytocin? Oxytocin. I just forgot how good going to the gym makes you feel. All I've really done to work out for the past few months, especially in my depressed girl era, is walk. Which is better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. It feels good to be back in somewhat of a routine. Obviously I'm a human being, so this looks different every single day. I realized a long time ago that I am not cut out for these super strict workout girly routines. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm never going to perform in a show. I also don't just wake up and think about how to get my body looking muscular today. Realistically, I think up and I think about breakfast. I'm at this point in my life where I'm done trying to be like all of the other workout girlies on social media. I'm gonna try and show the more realistic side of what it actually looks like to attempt to be a somewhat healthy human. I did finally weigh myself because I was really afraid of the scale because your girl's been depressed and she's been binging. What's new? Same person I've been for two and a half years. I haven't gained as much weight as I thought. About a round of applause. But I have put on like 15 pounds. And honestly, I truly wholeheartedly believe, apart from the McChickens, a big part of that is from drinking regular soda because I didn't drink regular soda my entire life up until this past year because I've had Brosnia and diet soda tastes bad. So I turned to regular soda and I genuinely believe all of that extra sugar contributed to this girl getting 15 pounds thicker. And on a five foot frame, it doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> We're making very slow and small changes. Speaking of, I'm on the only person in this household on a diet. Do you want to tell them? Or should I? Whose towel is that? Not me. I would never leave a towel on the floor. Duncan is also on a diet. We think he has a thyroid issue. He needs some exercise. So apart from me going to the gym, I still have to walk Duncan because he needs exercise. I could use the exercise. It's a good stress reliever. So welcome to my life. <laughs> The things that I really have been working on with my co-pilot coach is drinking water and getting good sleep because I haven't been going to sleep at a good time. Speak Now is the album of this walk. I'm just walking around the little pond lake thing in the middle of Centennial. I'm gonna jam out to Speak Now while I patiently await for Taylor's version. Get for not doing laundry for 
three months. It's been a couple hours since I went on my walk. I came home. I've been a little working girly. I'm trying to get a video edited so I can post because we all know I haven't been the most consistent. With Vlogmas, I don't really have a choice. I have to be consistent. I think along with your physical health, your mental health is really important. I've really only ever truly focused on one at a time. We're attempting to do both. And things like getting caught up in my laundry really help my mental health. So I'm gonna put some laundry away and then I'm just waiting for Sam to be ready to go to the gym later. I'm gonna sit here and fold all of this laundry. I'm gonna put anything that I want to sell on Depop in this basket because pretty much we're just washing everything and then I'm gonna go through and decide what I wanna keep and what I wanna sell. I was thinking about how in traditional therapy you're paying this person and you save all of your problems for them and they just listen and your friends who are idiots give you advice yeah unsolicited yeah one of the first things you got me working on was my life force that was such an immediate thing that can change your life and something that i think anyone can easily latch onto. and it was the first step for me in beginning the process of getting better yeah, that's correct. The classic thing that happens, a guy's depressed, he comes into my office and he says, I know my habits are shit, I, I, I know I'm, I'm undisciplined, I know I'm lazy, but if I only knew what I was supposed to be doing, the only way to find out what you should be doing, is like who you are, is to activate your life force, because the life force is the only part of you that actually is capable of guiding you when you're lost. perfect time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Copilot. I've been lucky enough to work with Copilot a couple of times now, and let me just say, life-changing. Copilot focuses on consistency and not on the transformations, which I've always loved because I don't feel like I'm just a success story to make them money. They really genuinely care about you and your health and you feeling the absolute best that you can. They are real people giving you support and personalized guidance. You're not just talking to some computer. It's a real human and I think that's what makes Copilot so special. They really believe on focusing on what you're able to do today that's going to lead to a long-term change in your life, not just a quick fix to your problems. These are just some clips from the past few workouts me and Sam have done. We focus on stretching a lot and just strength training, like full body strength training workouts. One of the reasons that I love Copilot so much and that I've continued to share them with you guys on my channel is because I am somebody with extreme gym anxiety. Having Sam to go to the gym with definitely helps but with the co-pilot app there's literally no way for you to be doing the workouts wrong you don't have to go to the gym your co-pilot coach can make you at home workouts too they can be totally flexible to whatever your needs are to whatever level of fitness that you're at it's super inclusive but when i'm in the gym one of the things that gives me anxiety is me thinking that i'm doing a workout wrong and i'm gonna end up on a gym fails page on the app it literally shows you as you're doing the workout how to exactly do the movements and your co-pilot coach can actually speak to you during your workouts. If you're wearing your Apple Watch, it syncs to your watch and it'll say things like slow down or speed up or go deeper in your movements. Copilot is convenient. It is right on your phone. The coaches on Copilot will not shame you. They're not going to pressure you and they're definitely not going to judge you. My coach's name is Grace and she has always been the most understanding, compassionate, sweet person. They are so flexible to your schedule. They are literally there to help you. Over 75% of Copilot clients continue to work out after 100 days, which means co-pilot clients are nine times more successful at sticking to their goals. We all have different goals. We all want to accomplish different things. Fitness and health is on such a big spectrum. All of us are out here trying to accomplish different things, but at the end of the day, we all are just trying to be better and be healthier and live a better life. Copilot has always been such a good environment helping me to be able to do that, even when I'm not feeling the greatest mentally, rewarding the little things that you are able to still accomplish no matter what you're going through. Copilot has helped me to stay consistent and honestly is motivating to like get back into the gym. Like when you're on the app, you can earn points and you can just see your progress and it's really fun. So click my Copilot link in my description box to get 14 days free with your own expert health and fitness coach. It's literally free. It's not going to hurt you just to sign up and try. Even if it just helps you get motivated and get your body moving for two weeks, it's free. This is my challenge to you. Vlogmas is coming up. We can do our daily activities and work together.
together. I promise you'll learn something helpful from your coach. If you don't like it, you guys can just cancel it. You get the two weeks free. The only person holding you back is you. It takes five minutes. Once again, thank you to Copilot for sponsoring this portion of the video. I really feel like this is something that can help a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you guys follow me because you also struggle with the same things that I struggle with. I've seen so many people in my personal life try Copilot and love it. I know you're going to too. Now that we're done working out, let's go take a shower. Back to past Sam. I feel very clean, but I didn't have face wash in the shower, so I'm having to wash my face outside of the shower, but that's okay because I bought this Tula Skincare Exfoliating Facial Scrub Trio because Alta has all their fun little like holiday sets out. It comes with three of the facial scrubs, So Chocolate Peppermint, So Gingerbread, and So Sugar Plum. I think gingerbread is the vibes for today. Nothing I hate more than safety seals, even though I know they're there for my safety. That's like the closest y'all have really ever seen my tattoo. I didn't realize you could see it so close or so well from this angle. It's really tragic. Moral of the story, don't impulsively get tattoos. The concept wasn't impulsive, but the shop was. This feels good. According to my Apple Watch though, I did work today. I think it said I burned like 4,500 calories. If we're gonna be taking care of our bodies, our skin is included in that. I have so much good skincare, I just never remember to do any of it. This would be a really fun gift if you need something to get for somebody and they love skincare, this is fun. This is the lotion that I have lathered my entire body in. It's my absolute favorite that I've ever used, I think. It's the Aveeno Stress Relief Moisturizing Lotion. Everything about this entices me. If I was Edward Cullen, this is Bella Swan. The weather has been crazy, so it's making my skin extra dry. Our hyaluronic acid, because girlies who have their lives together definitely use hyaluronic acid. Oh, that feels real nice. My arms are so dead from my workout tonight. Me and Sam didn't know how we were gonna get through the last few sets. But being sore is such a good feeling. It's like, obviously it hurts like a biatch, but it's a good hurt because you know that you did something that wasn't sit on the couch getting DoorDash from McDonald's. At last, I'm gonna use the Tatcha Water Cream. I brushed my teeth in the shower, by the way. I promise I'm not gross. Let's hop in bed. There's no better feeling than being physically exhausted from <laughs> a workout getting in bed after taking a nice warm shower and just going to sleep. I've been trying to not just scroll through TikTok before I go to sleep and I'm pretty sure that's just something everyone tries to do because how much of our lives have we actually spent on TikTok at this point? Way too fucking much. So I've been trying to read books before bed. While I was folding my clothes earlier, I was watching this Netflix show that Jonah Hill put up. It was basically a conversation between him and his psychologist. One of the things that he talked about that really just hit home for me was I really struggle sometimes to know what my purpose is and my passion is. For me, I get really caught up in, I'm 24 years old now. I should probably have my life figured out and know the direction I wanna go in. I should know what makes me happy. I should know what I see myself doing for my whole life. And I don't feel like that a lot of the times. I'm questioning if I'm doing the right thing, if I should be going to school, if I should be trying to have a different career. And that pressure I'm putting on myself doesn't help my depression at all. Going through this cycle of being so mean to myself that I make my depression worse and I do even less and I try even less hard in my life and I end up just trying to skate by with the bare minimum in every aspect of my life. Instead of trying to focus so hard on finding your purpose, to just focus on other little things that fuel your life force, like taking care of your body, journaling, because you never know what's in your mind that might come out if you start writing it down. I'm gonna journal tonight before bed, but I'm just gonna put it in my notes app because I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where a journal is. That's okay because I have a phone that I can write everything down in. And I definitely type faster than I write. I should definitely get an actual journal or even just a cheap notebook from Walmart for me to write this stuff down in. And then he also touched on like, like your food, like how your food is making you feel. And obviously food is something I've personally struggled with so much because being a person with an eating disorder, it just seems like a constant battle that you never win. I know that I've had some events happen recently that 
are a big reason that I've felt so depressed recently. Especially Snickers dying. The past few days, I've just been really sad about it. And I think I tried to not make it a big deal, but it really, I miss her a lot. And obviously I've had other things happen, like in my personal life and stuff. And that aspect of my life seems to be going in a really good direction, which makes me happy. I also got my period right before we went to the gym. Makes a lot of sense though, because I've been really emotional the past few days. <coughs> Sneezing on your period, an interesting sensation. Even just the past couple weeks of being consistent and working out and going to the actual gym has helped me so much. I know the gym is a luxury that not everyone can have. I think that's why I love that Copilot has like at home workouts and stuff too. Your trainer will just make whatever workout you need work. They've always just been so flexible and understanding of different seasons of my life over the past, I don't even know at this point, like eight months. And even just things like going for walks, like moving your body. I notice that the more I'm working out, I don't feel as guilty about the food that I eat. Eat, even though I know I shouldn't feel guilty about the food that I eat regardless. I think I just know that I'm working harder so I can like justify I want a McDonald's hamburger <laughs> or something like that because realistically I don't know anybody that can just eat healthy 100% of the time. We're gonna be on this earth for a while. We gotta find something that's sustainable and having Samantha to go to the gym with me helps so much. I think I've said that a few times in this video but it is so fun having her there with me and I don't feel just anxiety when she's there. A lot of the people at this gym that we've been going to, it's Quantum, I think is what it's called, in Nashville. They're very scary, very intimidating people. And they might be judging me, but to be honest, I don't really care. If you're gonna be someone that hates fat people, and you're also gonna hate fat people in the gym, I don't understand that logic. I just really think the point I wanna drive home is your health is not just your physical health, it's your mental health. It's even more than just like going to the gym and going on walks. It's drinking water, getting good sleep, taking care of your mind, write out your thoughts, journal them out. That's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna read a book instead of scrolling on TikTok, because I'm pretty sure TikTok has rotted so much of my brain at this point and ruined my attention span completely. I had a lot of work to do today other than this video, so I hope you guys did enjoy what I filmed. I'm really looking forward to Vlogmas and I'm sure you guys are gonna see a lot of like the gym and stuff in Vlogmas too because I told myself I still have to go during Vlogmas. I think it's time for me to wind down for the night.